the order of operations and the connection of everything in the universe is quite simple once you understand how we as multidimensional beings operate within the four levels of consciousness. You see, we all know on one level that everything is connected through the atomic structures and subparticles that play an intricate part in creating the universe and the world in our 3D experience. We are also aware that the emotional responses combined with consciousness affect how we participate creating frequencies that are loaded with information that is carried in an energetic language of electrical pulses that run through the matrix. This energy dance in the fields signals the atoms and atomic particles around us in establishing the template of the physical vehicle which we call the body, while also affecting the energetic matrix around us. This simple order of how we plug into the different levels of consciousness creates a third dimensional world that we take part in and experience as an individual, group, collective, or connected to the one which we call or identify as God, Creator, or the Universe. But let's take this all one step further. Let's examine the four levels of consciousness that each and every one of us participate in, whether we're aware of it or not. The first level of consciousness is self. This is about each individual being aware of oneself as an individual. The famous quote by Descartes, I think, therefore I am, is an example of understanding this level of self-awareness. Think of the grain of sand on the beach and each grain is having an experience that is unique to itself. The second level of consciousness is group consciousness. This is the recognition of others. And these are our family members, friends, co-workers, neighbors, teachers, and all those we intermingle with on a day-to-day -day basis. And then we have the collective consciousness that is made up of every single individual on the planet, creating a conscious network and agreement of how we identify objects, people, places, animals, minerals, plants, etc. that give the structure to the atomic particles and the dance of energy creating our reality on the third dimensional plane. And then there's oneness or what we call God consciousness that goes beyond the human scope of experience and includes all existences. Everything is encased in this one level of consciousness that holds it all together. A good analogy would be to think of the beach that is made up of all the grains of sand. It is a level of all things on all levels, omnipotent as we understand it, and we are all a part of it. As a whole, we are all a part of the four levels of consciousness, and we are connected and participate on each level. Yes, it is true that our higher selves or what some call the subconscious mind is operating on all levels at all times. So when we check in to that part of our consciousness, we have access to all levels of consciousness and enlightenment, which is at our fingertips if we know how to filter and move through the blocks that we create. Here's what makes what we call our lives interesting on the 3D level. It is again about how we show up and participate on the four levels of consciousness. We can only be aware of ourselves, our needs, and who we are as an individual. We can open our awareness of what others are doing as a group and play an active part in the level of consciousness, whether it's fear-based, love, healing, or neutral. We can experience what is happening with the entire level of the collective and how it defines the physical, emotional, and energetic world in and around us by its interactive role with the group consciousness. Or we can step into the level of oneness 
understanding how everything is knitted together or held on a higher frequency of consciousness, of oneness, God, Creator, or the universe. You see, we each and every one of us have free will and have a choice of how we show up and how we play an active role on any of the four levels. But once again, we are reminded that we're never separated from any of the four levels of consciousness as we are all connected. So here's the question. Which of the four levels of consciousness do you continuously and actively participate in the most? And what is it that you're helping to create on that level in an interactive universe?